Hi, this is the second film on Yalia Monastery. Uh, the first one had us driving from the forest station up to the monastery. Now we're doing a little virtual tour uh, so you can have a look around and we'll finish off by driving back down through that very pretty valley to uh, Limney Pier when we stop there. Uh, while I'm doing the virtual tour, and there'll be a link to that uh, in the description of the film, uh, so you can take it yourself. Uh, but while I'm doing the tour, I will also be reading what it says on the information sign that they've got there, so that you'll know a bit about it. It might not necessarily match up with exactly what I'm doing on the tour, but uh, you'll at least be able to see what it's like. Okay, uh, to use the tour, uh, it's dead simple, and you can. the key thing is you can zoom in as well, because it's not just the images you see, there's an awful lot of detail in them. So if you do click on the link and use it yourself, don't be afraid to zoom in and have a look around, because there's quite a lot of detail that you might miss otherwise. The Yealia Holy Mother Georgian Monastery was founded between 970 and 979 by David Curo Pilates, King of Tower Kiyajeti, in what was then southwest Georgia and today an area of northwest Turkey. The Georgian kings, David Agmeshenebeli, 1089 to 1125, and Tamar, 1184 to 1210, took special care of the Yalia Monastery which also became a significant centre for Georgian culture in Cyprus when it was founded. A strong educational centre was at the heart of the monastery, where books were transcribed and translated and are found today in book collections all over the world. According to written sources, the Yalia Monastery was one of the richest Cypriot monasteries with an annual income of 300 ducats. The ruins of the Yalia Monastery had been overgrown with earth and weeds until 1981, when it was identified by a famous US-based Georgian scholar, Vaktang Yabadz. In 2006-2010, an archaeological expedition organised by the Ministry of Culture and Monument Protection of Georgia excavated and studied the Yalia Monastery complex, the St Nicholas Church with the graveyard for monks, the cell of a hermit monk and the monastery's mill. The main temple of the monastery is a triconch dome church, the only of its kind in Cyprus, but there are many of such churches in Georgia and especially in Tower Clayeti. The church interior is entirely painted with scenes of the baptism of Christ in the South Apse and the descent from the cross in the North Apse. There are semi-figures of holy fathers at the altar, fragments of painted iconostases were found in the ruins of the church. The main layer of the monastery wall painting is an example of the highly creative painting style of the pre-Renaissance Komnenian epoch of the 12th century. The St George Hall Chapel was built in the 11th century to the north of the Yalia Holy Mother Church. A fresco inscription with an appeal to St George was identified inside the chapel and there is a fresco of the warrior St George at the chapel door. A two-storey bell tower with a gate on the lower floor was built soon afterwards, west of the St George Chapel. At the next stage of construction, the chapel was built east of the church, which also served as the prosthesis. A large gate from the west and a large water reservoir were added, and a fountain was built in the south. The reservoir was filled from a ceramic water pipe, which started at the southwest point of the monastery. This significant addition was implemented during the reign of King Tamar, 12th and 13th centuries. In the late 13th century, a four abutment gate was built south of the church and Georgian Asomteruli inscriptions of the turn of the 13th and 14th centuries were added on one of the abutments. The monastery was apparently destroyed several times by earthquakes and became deserted in the late 16th century after Cyprus was seized by the Ottomans in 1571. The two-storey St Nicholas Church is found 200 metres northeast of the Yalia Monastery, with burial grounds of Yalia monks under the lower floor. The cell of a hermit monk, consisting of two rooms, 
was found in the southeast corner of the monastery. It is believed that he transcribed the translations of the Psalms between the 11th and the 12th centuries. The monastery mill is located below the main temple, about 200 metres to the southwest, on the left slope of the Yala Ravine. Many items were identified during the archaeological excavations, including glazed and unglazed ceramics, glass lamps, Venetian painted glassware, bone, stone, to print on communion bread, as well as metal items such as a bronze incense burner and cross, as well as silver and copper coins of Byzantine emperors and of the Luzonian rulers of Cyprus. Right, that's all it says on the plaque at the uh, monastery when you visit it. If you want any more information, uh, I will include a link to a PDF file I found. I think it was from an exhibition they did in Georgia at the place. But that will be in the description of the video. Uh, also, there will be a link to this tour that you've been watching itself, so you can go and explore it at your own steam. Uh, all I will say when you use it is remember you can zoom in and out, so you'll be able to see all those little uh, votive offerings for yourself that way. And now what we're going to do is drive back from the monastery uh, and we, I think we end at Limney Pier on this one. So enjoy the ride. It's a very pretty one. And thanks for listening. Bye.